Right. So we're going to talk about the normal stages of labor. I wish I had some some videos of all the times we see normal things. We, we often don't take videos. Sarah and I were, were laughing about this, that I've asked friends for videos. But usually when you're watching something like this, if you're doing something, your hands are often covered in goo or you're in the middle of doing things and it's so busy and frantic that you don't actually stop to think about taking a video. So it's very rare that we have um, videos of things like this, but you can find them on YouTube. Um, and so what you're going to expect is about there's three stages of labor, no matter what your species are. And it's basically preparation, delivery, and then delivering the placenta afterwards. So stage one is usually when you have them kind of separating off by themselves, maybe being uncomfortable. We're gonna see them maybe pawing at the ground, getting up, getting down, um, not really wanting to eat as well. And then if you can have a look at her back end, you might see also some mucus discharge or the mucus plug coming from the vulva. And it can be anywhere from a couple hours to you know 12 to 24 hours sometimes um, and it will be longer in those first time um, lammers or kidders so your first preemie Paris girls um, this is where if we get involved we can actually extend that time and halt that time so we'll talk a little bit more about that and what can go wrong Stage two is when we actually do have expulsion of the fetus, so delivery of the fetus. And um, usually it is signaled by the presence of the water bag. So the choreo allantois basically kind of, kind of comes out and then there's rupture of fluids usually. And then sometimes you can see a bit of baby, um, amnion and bit of baby come out as well. And we expect that baby, once you've seen little parts of it to be presented at the vulva, that that lamb or kid is born within 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, a rule of thumb is anything longer than an hour is generally needs some intervention. And again, we'll go into that a little bit later. And um, this is where you also see her, she may stand up, she may lie down, she may get up and do both. Um, vocalize, you'll see active abdominal contractions as well. Um, and if you've never seen it before, it is a bit spectacular. So to all those moms who have, have done the thing, well done. I have not. It looks painful. Um, <laughs> and so it, it can be a pretty ex a special experience. Um, and then finally, our stage three, that's delivery of the placenta. And usually that happens quite quite quickly after the, the babies are born, but sometimes it can be up to 12 hours. And that can be a life-threatening thing. So it's something that we want to be monitoring. So in the ideal world, this is going to be our unassisted delivery. We're going to be watching them from afar because we don't want to stress her out or get her um, too anxious that she's going to want to stop going into labor. Um, but usually what we'd love to see is the front feet or a nose first in presentation. So I have a little bit of a, a um, visual cue here. So this is the pelvis of a sheep. And you can see the diameter. This is an adult sheep and you can see I've got quite small hands and it is a bit of a tight squeeze. So this is why they, they have problems often. So this is the back end, this is the front end. And what you normally see is a little bit of a foot coming through and maybe some a nose as well. Um, we do need that time. So even if you do see bits of baby, it's a good idea not to rush in and just to kind of let her do her thing. Um, and if you watch watch videos about this, they need time for the tissues to stretch and relax. So you'll see often a little bit of baby, and then you'll see her wait and wait between contractions, and then she'll contract again, and a little bit more comes out at the same time. So it does, you do need time for that, everything to stretch, otherwise you do risk tearing. Um, they can be babies come in all directions in small ruminants. So in calves, you do want them to be kind of in a very specific orientation, but in small ruminants, they can come frontwards, they can come backwards, they can come with like a Superman as well. So usually they're quite small and bendy that they can come in multiple different directions too. Um, and then once they're actually born, so they can be born when she's standing or when she's lying down, you'll usually see them kind of shake their heads clear their nose, the mum usually stands up, turns around and goes and starts licking them directly. Um, and then usually they're trying to stand within 15 to 30 minutes. Usually if she's having multiples, um, 
by the time she's had the second one, the first one is usually up and trying to get around and wandering around and actually can be a tricky thing, especially if she gives birth on hill and the baby rolls down the hill. So you always want to count because sheep can't count or goats really either. So this is a, a photo from um, the internet, which the link did not come through, um, but it just kind of demonstrates what we're seeing here. So this youth has actually given birth to another lamb already. There's a bit of a fleshy bit hanging down. That's the placenta of the first baby. And this is the amnion with a little bit of a, a foot that you can see a foot and a nose coming out of the second baby. Right, so I think we're gonna pause here to ask or answer any questions that we might have so far.